Okay, this is uh, just a demonstration of how to find grid bearing without using a compass. What you use is a grid bearing protractor. Now I've made this one myself. All you need to do is just get yourself a 360 degree protractor. Just melt a hole or drill a little hole in the middle. Just drill a little hole to one side so that you can tie the knot so you can attach some twine. Now then, say for instance, you are at the end of this road here, just by this reservoir, and where you want to get to is this junction here. So what you would do is get your protractor, place the centre over where you are, in this case at the end of that road, with the zero on the protractor pointing to north, on the map, making sure that it's parallel using these lines to the grid lines on the map. Pull on the string slightly, place it over where you want to get to, which is in this case this junction here. So you place it over where you want to get to, you'll be able to read the bearing on the protractor where the string crosses the edge, which is in this case 91 degrees. So, put your protractor away, put your map away, and get your compass out. Now then, at the index line, all you need to do is turn the house in until you've got 91 degrees on the index line. Now that is a grid bearing. You need to convert that to a magnetic bearing. And the magnetic variation will be shown on the top of your map. We'll say for instance the variation is two degrees. So what you need to do is add two degrees. So just turn the housing until you're on 93. Now then hold the compass level, turn the compass until the red end of the needle is pointing to north on the compass housing. And this direction of travel arrow is the direction you need to walk to get to your destination which is in this case that junction. So that's it, that's how to use a grid bearing protractor.